Hello Manahi, it's uh, John Wanoa here. Uh, just a catch up call with you. I'll call you back in five minutes time or ten minutes time. Or give me a call, right? We'll just catch up on things. I'm just back home now from um, Morris Place. Okay? Bye. I just want to catch up with Manahi and where we're going to from now. Um, I've just come back from north um, at Morris Baker's farm, going through a few legal issues with his deed titles, British deed titles to his land, and what to do with them. I have major plans set for him on his 10 blocks that I've identified, I've got them here in his books. Uh, for the lawyer, I'll go to the lawyer and where have I put them? I'm find them now. Shot them out. There they are. In here, 10 blocks with original Horitikuri titles. One man. One man and a plan. You never get to see. Because it's a private contract between Hori Takuri and King William IV. And a private contract between Refere for Manukau and King William IV and their flag. With those two paramount chiefs, commercial land owners of these deed titles in Whakapapa. Okay, it's deadly accurate. And I make no bones about it that Hiramai is the son of Huri Tikuri and is descendant Morris Low Becker, or Lobo as they call him. Okay, so I have strung together all his titles to authenticate with the lawyer. I'll be dealing with that next week. I'm just getting myself back in order and sort it out. So, I should not be showing you all of this, but however, it's very important to indicate to you that I am in a legal position to adjudicate a native, a full-blown native magistrate court with all these documents and those chiefs. Chief Referef Manakao and his ancestor Tera Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau from Pohara or Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni in the Cambridge Waikato district. That's my father-in-law. I'm sorting that Manukau title out to Moriori Punga Punga Hapu and his Mangatauturi Mountain in Cambridge to Cambridge, England. That title has been hijacked by this New Zealand government and Iwi Māori Crown. I'm writing a letter here, I'm going to read it out to you. I haven't quite finished it, but I'm going to read it out to you in disgust at my bill that I've paid for a traffic fine, parking fine, in Oduhu here. <clears throat> in 2012, the only outstanding standing fine, I paid automatic payments $20 a week. And I rang the court up because when I travel overseas, I don't want to be stopped at the airport with court fines. So even though I've got it over them, I'll pay it 
just to satisfy the courts, but I've got a bone to pick with them with my birth certificate. And this case of missing money, $140 is missing in the New Zealand courts fines justice, justice fines, they call it justice fines system. Now I've called them all names under the sun publicly so you can hear my frustration of one day and a half going through all my bank accounts, shutting this and that to try and identify where this money has gone. We had Uber, the taxi company, took two and a half thousand out of my account without my authority because I don't look at my accounts, I just keep going and I wondered why I was running out of money. It's because I didn't keep an eye on where the money's gone until yesterday or day before yesterday. I uh, looks and sees there's some discrepancy in the accounts. And so I find that the ANZ Bank has two sets of accounts. One for direct debits and the court system and the other for a normal bank statement. I went and investigated yesterday my bank and got them out of it. Got all my accounts out to have a look and because I've been downloading the whole year and putting it in my folders of the accounts, they look different to the accounts that I got yesterday. They had added the missing companies that are not listed on the ones that I've downloaded in 2016, 2015, 16, 17. And blow me down, she downloaded the accounts with this other company in it, Justice Fines. Clearly marked Justice Fines, I'll show you in a minute. And I rang the court up and the court says, no, you owe us. You haven't paid nothing. There's no record of it. And I said to the bank, that's what they said at the court. I went through a lot of trouble, through four people in the court, half abusing them, that I'm going to take them to court and all this sort of thing. I'm going to wrap them up and all sorts of things. I'm writing that way in my complaint about them to you, the public of the world and New Zealand, of just how corrupt this court system is in New Zealand. I've caught them out enough times to make one grand jury trial against the whole fucking lot of them and build them one trillion pounds on their birth certificates because that's what my birth certificate is worth in capital letters Hawani Kahaki Wano is worth one trillion pounds British equivalent to a Maui pound note water money currency, gold currency and <coughs> fraudulent misdealings on me from the Crown Corporation in New Zealand. It's not the same as the British Crown Corporation. I'm in a British Crown Corporation partnership with these three chiefs, Te Rawaikato Whare Manaka at 1821 with King George IV, his descendant, Reflef Manaka, in a private contract, the same as his ancestor, with King William IV and Reflef Manaka, private contract, and Ori Tikuri from Taheke in a private contract with King William IV and Queen Victoria in 1862 to 1882 period of time. He died, Ori Tikuri died in 1891. So he was going under the Native Land Act of New Zealand, 1862 which was Referee for Manukau and Queen Victoria's contract, private. Okay, that's how that works. And that flag is a contract flag to that chief and Hori Tikuri and Referee for Manukau. At that time, between 1830 and 1837, the 1834 Declaration of War flag, which is this flag here, is the receipt of a trading bank flag 
sovereign authority from King William IV, connecting those two chiefs, Referef Manukau and Hori Tikuri, in that period of time from 1830 to 1892, back to King William IV and their flag contract. That's what this flag was for, that contract with Britain and these paramount chiefs, these two paramount chiefs, there are others, but I'm saying I'm only talking for these two paramount chiefs. Others can talk for themselves if they've got deeds of titles to their surname. Morris Baker happens to have his ancestor's name, Hiramaya Tekuri, and Ramaka on his deed titles. It's my job to transfer them back into the original deed title and put Morris's name on today. He is the descendant of those chiefs who were British Crown agents, not New Zealand Crown agents. Second and third party. Hori Tikuri and Referro from Manukau, under this flag was a two party contract that cannot be tampered with, or changed, or <clears throat> tampered with, which is what has happened with this New Zealand government and Andrew Little, the Minister of Justice. I'm just writing to him this horrible letter, putting him on notice. One trillion pounds, British, Grand British, Great Britain power note, equivalent of the Maui power note. More, more in value <clears throat> against each birth certificate in this country and the world. My birth certificate, Hawani Kahaki Wanoa, are valued at one trillion pounds. Credit note against the British pound note and the Moai pound note. Creditor. Judgment creditor. <clears throat> against Andrew Little and his Crown land agents, Crown agents, Church and State, Government, individual persons and corporate names, personal names, bounty on the head for these offences against me. I'm numbering them singly charged as judgment debtors. Okay, so that's the consequence of ignorance to answer to my allegations on Facebook and on YouTube and on other websites that have duplicated my statements. I find that YouTube has declined me from making money out of my videos because I don't make enough viewers. I didn't put it there to make money out of. I put it there to notify people of what I'm going to do, my intentions to enforce the Maui Crown, Federal State Government of the World, UK, New Zealand, dual government, legal authority, ruling jurisdiction of Admiralty Martial Law on third party judgment debtors, pirates on the high seas. Now, <coughs> Andrew Little, take notice, you're the Minister of Justice in New Zealand and I warn you that at the Waitangi celebrations you were there in what looked like a partnership with the Whakaminia, 38 tribes. There's been a tomata on Waitangi Marae. That's my marae with my carvings in there. I opened that marae as a 
Watangi Marae Native Magistrate Court. I had a hearing in there on the 15th of March 2016. And in that hearing was a grand jury trial against you and all your legacy of governments who defrauded the public of New Zealand and the Paramount Chiefs, not the Chiefs of New Zealand tribes, not the Whakamininga, not Maori, not Iwi, but the Maui Crown native Paramount Chiefs. Big difference in the two corporations. We are a corporate company, Maui Crown, King William Four Trust, and the Maui Crown, and in particular, the Maui Moriori Manukau Trust the actual legal owner of this country is these companies. Added to that, <coughs> Nga Atua Ewa Aotea Limited New Zealand Registered Company. Creditors. These are creditors against you, the New Zealand Government and all your companies. The whole lot of them. Bill debt charge, 970 million trillion trillion pound notes spread amongst you and the Queen's corporations and Rothschild banks, the British Westminster government, the United Nations, NATO, UN, ISIS, Israel, US Federal State Government, the United States of America government, all private companies, Bank of England, private company, City of London, private company, Vatican City, private company, Washington DC, private company, all those companies and IMF, World Bank, they all share in common law consequences of the bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound notes spread amongst you all. Andrew Little, your court is corrupted. Sean Elias is corrupted. <coughs> and her family. Standing in for the Queen, I warned her not to open the New Zealand Parliament because she had no seal of the Queen or seal of Westminster to open this courthouse, the Supreme Court of New Zealand. And Prince William came here, didn't acknowledge the King's flag. He's not a descendant of King William IV. He's a Spaniard. Those kings are Dutch. That's where I differ with him to try and be the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, which is King Ernest Augustus V. You cannot get a King of Britain, UK, Hanover. There's already one there as a King of Britain. That's the one I'm swearing my oath of office to with my paramount chiefs of Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth countries of the world, Indigenous people. And anybody else who wants to join the King's common people and under the King's common laws. King William IV, Westminster Parliament laws are 19 A4 pages. That's the laws I'm going under. I'm pulling out X out of that against your government and you, Andrew Little. I'm citing as fact-cited evidence my letter I'm going to read out now to you so that you are on notice for injuring me while you are there as a minister of your corrupted courts who can't find my reference to transferring my bank account to your bank account money to pay a fine, a $40 fine ended up as $147. I have no issues about that. It's the way you have transacted. The transfer of money in your bank is gone missing. I had to go and investigate my bank. I upset a few people. I upset a few people because I'm the last one you want to get messed up with. I'm the last person you want to get messed up with. Anybody who's dicking around with the king's laws. I'm standing in for the king. 
and I speak for the King of England, Britain UK, because there's no king there that can answer to a contract we have with the kings, the three emperors, British Empire's kings, King William III, King William IV and King George IV, those three and our commercial private contract, two-party partnership that has been tampered with by this New Zealand government, third party. As a consequence, the Chinese who are in partnership with Judith Collins and her husband, the Chinese man, you get the rat on the head with the trade. Under this trade, this is a trade flag. It is a legal trading bank creditors flag against people on the high seas, pirates I call them, and thugs who are trading on these lands that I have a title for in these books. These are just Morris's books. I've got all the Manikau's books right here. I've got custody of Morris Lowe or Lobo Baker D titles in Taheke Horeke Road. Taheke RD3 district of Hokianga. Okay, so I'm holding the British Native Paramount Chiefs title transfers. They're contracts you can't mess around with, Mr. Little, on these lands because these you have to refute. No one has refuted anything I've got online thus far. So the British are watching <coughs> anyone who makes a fatal move from now on because I'm just waiting for my lawyer. Notary public, he's had three weeks now, this week is the third week, to read my documents for apostoly sealing to make law in this country and the world from those documents and the ones I'm about to publish today and tomorrow and Sunday. So you can see that I have all that power to enforce on anyone who cannot refute these deed titles at 1821, <coughs> 1820 to 1830, King George IV, commercial trading bank, land patent crown, land patent king's titles. They created the titles, not the Queen. The Queen and the Rothschild banks are third party temperers of these contracts. Very serious business. You'll get hanged for that. And treason. John Key took off from here and left the trail of debt. That debt follows him to where he lives and his businesses and seizes them all back into the King's <coughs> bench court. Royal revenue. Credit account. And that's held by me in the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. Okay, you got that? Right, now, Andrew Little, take notice. I'm about to read this letter to you in disgust of your staff in your New Zealand Justice Fines Department for the Auckland District Court, no mention of it, but my reference number to the parking fine in the Auckland District Court where the order was made. The order was made there. Your fines department can't tell the left foot from the right foot what's going on because the only brain dead numbers. That's all you are. You're slaves of numbers and you don't know which one is gone missing. It's in the dead basket of no claims. Consolidated fund or, or suspensory Account, suspensory account, that's that word I was trying to find. Suspensory account, suspended, suspensory account. So that's, it's suspended somewhere in midair. Not knowing where to go, you can't even read what it says. It says clearly, 16 Park Ave, 
P1665261839, Park Fine. That's what it says in there. That's a reference. You can't even find that. That's from the Auckland District Court. That's where the park fine came from. The order. You can't even find that. The Finance Department can't find that. Ridiculous system. It's corrupted, that's why. I'm saying, I'm, I'm accusing you of corruption, Andrew Little. You know that. You know that. You just won't admit it. I want you to admit it on my letter in a reply, right in front of Facebook and everybody watching all my sites, 109 of them, minus a few gone missing, left 97 Facebook sites full of information, free to anyone who dares to use it. You get a power note you need. Don't use any information for its unintended purpose because you'll get a pound note on your head, a trillion pounds on your birth certificate. We have the right, the legal right, to seize any birth certificate that has violated the King's laws, common laws for that matter. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera around, I'll make this big on this Facebook. Oh, it's gone into the email. My email site. I'm just going to flip that around before the camera runs out. To there. I'll make a bit of space here. My thing has dropped down. My, cam my, my screen has dropped down. Um, so this is the Facebook notification, public notice. There. And this is the email. There. That's the email I'm sending to Andrew Little, Minister of Courts, Honourable Andrew Little. There. From Natu Airwa Auto Limited. That's here. And my address. Okay. About my horrible experience with his fines department. Justice.gov.nz. There. That company does not know what the Auckland District Court order does. It's just lost in the system. So that's the letter there with the um, printouts of the screen prints I did. And I went through a whole lot of trouble to screen print my... I want to show you. Where is it? Fines. I want to show you how much trouble I went through. Here, here they are. First of all, first of all, I'll show you this one. I'll, I'll show you a reference on the bank statement, the automatic payment. I want to show you so you can see they can't find my my money. Look, that's Jamie there, and down here you can see clearly see. Well, there's too many things in the road. You can clearly see justice fines there, 03-0049-001-055-01 is their account, justice fines. And here the reference here, manage payees, this is the automatic side of the statement. Your statement, my statement says 16 Park Ave, P1662529. One eight three nine park fine, right? That's what I put onto the bank statement, and their statement is sixteen park f p one six six five two six one eight three nine park fine, right? All they had to do is find where I got the park fine from, because they already know that, and they didn't even have my address. <coughs> they didn't even have my address here. They still had my old address in downtown Auckland. That's how right out of touch they are. Stupid people. And here's the twenty dollars. Hey, the thirteenth of August. I'll go back to the first one. Third of August. Third of August seventh of September two thousand seventeen. Twenty dollars. Justice fines. Look. Tenth of August two thousand seventeen. $20, justice fines. 17th of August, 
$20 justice fines. 24th of August, $20 justice fines. Look, it's even got it there, 16 Park Avenue, Odehu Park Fine. This is a bank statement, people. This is my bank statement, right? And it's got it there, balance, balance, justice fines. Look. Right, and then 27th of July, 2017, justice fines. It's got it clearly marked here on the bank statement, 16 Park Avenue, Odehu Park Fine. Right? And that's the difference in this statement from the other statement that has the number on it. There's something going on in the bank. <coughs> i got issues about. The 31st of August 2017, $20. Justice fines. This is our bank statement, people. I've just blown it up so that you can see it. So there you go. That, that, that just so you there were seven payments gone out. And that's what they give me. So I've written to Andrew Little, a big long letter. I started on it at 3.30 this morning. I started going over everything, like the story of my life about this country and its corrupted system. I'm going to now dong on the head. I'm going to dong them on the head once and for all. I've had enough of them. I've had enough of corruption in this country and I'm going to do something about it. Hang on, I just want to make this a bit bigger so you can see. I'll just make it bigger. Hang on. I've got a bit of a mess here. I'll clean my whole place up. It's a big mess. Samples after I've come back from north. So here we go. Now to where while Hotel Limited, I'm, I'm writing to Andrew Little, Ocean B, 16 Park Avenue, Odehu, Minister of Courts, current Minister, Hon Honourable Andrew Little, Associate Minister for Courts, current Associate Minister, Honourable Opito William Sio, Auckland District Court, Ministry of Justice, Central Processing Unit, Essex 10042 Wellington, justice.gov.nz, Friday, 23rd of January um, of February 2018. Mr. Little, Mr. Andrew Little, my ANZ bank account 0608690539870 has paid your bank account 03040090001055001. I'll say it again. Your account. 03049000105501 account. My NZ Bank account has paid your bank account 03049000105501 for a $40 traffic parking fine. I'm trying to figure out you people out what you have done to my money. I paid in your account of $140. You say you can't find my automatic payments at at twenty dollars a week anywhere. Yet my NZ Bank says it was paid to your account, and they are really shocked at your response, saying you need me to give you a reference to your bank account so you can find it. I will tell you how to do your fucking job. Where am I? Oh, this is... What's going on here? Why is this going like that? This, this word thing is not, not the best. What makes it hard to find? I am up at 3 a.m. to write my complaint, not to your authorities, but to my authorities on Facebook and record it on YouTube so I can make you people pay for all the libious injuries you have caused me repeatedly, ignoring my notifications to you people living in a coded bubble of your own <coughs> planet, corporations, financial investment, bank and land alienation interests. <coughs> I'm holding you, I'm going to put some commas here, I'm holding you to account in our Te Ungawaka Marae native Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland, New Zealand. I'm holding the original British native land title in 1834, King William IV, 
Manuka Waikato Wairua Paramount Chiefs Commercial Landowners Living State Sovereign Authority Declaration of War Emer State of Emergency Flag Jurisdiction to two. I <coughs> I'll say this again. I'm holding the original native land title and aim for for flag. Flag for 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 uh, Manuka Waikato one or Paramount Chiefs Commercial Landowners a Living State Living State Sovereign Authority. State. Oh man, this is ridiculous, man. State Sovereign Authority, 1834, Declaration of War, State of Emergency, Flag, Jurisdiction to our partner, the British Royal Navy Protectorate. Oh, what's wrong with this? This word on, on thing is no good, it's frozen up. Real, real no good. The things that are happening on, on, on internet is not very good. They're, they're, they're watching what I'm doing and they're mucking me up. These thugs that are operating online. They're watching what I put, well, too bad. I can, I can weather it out. I'm patient to do things. You see, it's stuck. I got to make sure it doesn't disappear before it goes. I've got to make sure it's locked in here. I have to make sure it's locked in here. Oh, that's my other letter. There's some signs. Um, thank you for your email. As at 22nd of February 2000. This, see, this is, this is what they're putting the squeeze on me. They're really forcing me. If you have any questions. This is after I've told them. Where's my money? And then they go and hook this one on me. There's all my details here. They've gone and, and and sent it to me. This is bad. This is real, real Gestapo tricks. I'm going to have to copy all this out before it disappears. Just hold on. Hold on. I've got to go back to it before it disappears. I don't want my Facebook to disappear with my hard work. Getting it all written up. What's wrong with the Facebook? Recover Facebook page. I've got to publish it before it disappears again. <coughs> and I can correct it afterwards. <coughs> this happened to me yesterday. <coughs> it happened to me yesterday. It all disappeared when I was doing a post <coughs> on Facebook. The whole flipping lot went, and this is the gut feeling you get when this happens. You get a gut feeling that something's going to disappear right in the middle of it, like this. See, I'm, I'm waiting for it to come back. I'm hoping it comes back. 
Yeah, here we go. I hope it zips back up again. Yeah, there, there, it's back. Right, let's hope it's there. I'll, I'll publish it before I lose it again. <clears throat> Come on. Speak to me. This is the frustration of having a computer that's full right up. I've got three of them. This one, this one, and the other one under there. <clears throat> three computers. But this is my main one. Oh man, don't tell me. That one's back. That one's back. Now this one. I need this one to come back. And then I'll go and restart the whole thing. Gosh, just wasting my time. I wanted to get through that little I'll have to make another video if this runs out. Frustrating. Come on, come on. That page came back. Now I'm waiting for the other one to come back. Oh man, nervous wait. I'll just bear with it. But I'll, I'll go and read my. No, I, I was wanting to read the Facebook one because I've added more words to it than the other one. And I didn't want to lose it. Oh man, this is real crazy. Come on. Why is Facebook so awkward? They're altering it all the time. I'm trying to open this page up here, this one. I'm trying to open it. I usually have no trouble opening them. Let's that one open. Let's that page open. There. And so I'll see if that changes. I'll see if it flicks over. As it flicks over. Looks like something is switched off. The stupid internet here switches off uploading 269 files can't sync screenshot what's going on here oh, this Dropbox I don't want Dropbox I want this one To the, the internet has disconnected itself. Oh, we're updating Dropbox. No, I don't want Dropbox. Updating Dropbox. Gosh. This intrusive stop script. Facebook stop script. That's that one. I'm Jamie. Now I'm going to hopefully get this one. That's, uh, I'm going to make sure this moves. Oh, that's moving. That's Jamie, four years ago. Now this one. Open this one. Come on. Whew. Sweating. You see, someone's trying to stop me from publishing. Come on. I don't want to lose this because I've written a lot. I should have been saving it straight over to the other page. That should change over. It's still stuck on this one. Park Avenue Hotspot Internet Access. So that is connected. Broadband connection is on. 
by the phone, by the dial-up, Park Avenue. Internet currently connected. Yeah. Dial up. So that's all going. It's not shifting over to this one. Come on. Oh man. You see my frustration with patience. Having patience. The courts have opened. That's going. Minister of Courts, that's going. My NZ Bank. I'll just go back here. Google. Let's see if Google opens. That tells me Google. Look how slow it is. Google. If Google opens, then Facebook is mucking me around. Google should open now on this one. I left my stick behind up north to make it go fast. I've left it on the other computers. It's so slow. That just tells me the internet is not connected by here, Spark, wireless, network connection, broadband, dial up. Where's the other one? This one. This one. D-Link, is that connected? Wireless, refresh. Refresh, connect. Connect, well it's connected, it says it's connected. So that's connected. Park Avenue is connected. Recover. Page. Oh man. The internet here is horrible. Sharing a router. I hate sharing a router because we have one phone line in this place where I'm staying and everybody shares it. Boy, I can't wait to get my own internet. It's obviously not connected. Broadband connection. Recover web page. I'm having so much trouble. It's not working. We have trouble here. Now it's working. Right, this one should go. The one that I'm looking for should go. I'm opening this Facebook. Gosh, it's a long time. Odahu's got a worse internet than up in Morris's place in the back blocks up in Hokianga. It's worse here than there. Share that. If this goes, then the other one should open. Now that's gone. Um, that's that's friendship. She has her family. I've got my new wife to be, Minas Flores. Oh, that's not moving. That should go. Why isn't that moving? It ain't moving. Of all the times I want this thing to move, it has dropped right on Facebook. It's like they're trying to stuff me up. I I'm making this public. 
what I go through, D-Link, connect. Maybe it's the D-Link, connecting to D-Link, oh gosh. The little wireless thing stopped. Go on, move. Go. It's supposed to be connected now. It's not even moving. This should open. Now that's opening. The government site open. Look at this. The government site open, but not Facebook. Recover web page. What is going to happen to my web page on Facebook? See, it's scrubbed. Somebody scrubbed the blue thing. Just what I got. Facebook is not responding. Yet it's responding here. You see, see? Why I was typing, they were reading. This is working. This guy on his guitar is working on Facebook. But See? What, what's going on here? Bah. Okay, that's... You see, that's working. And this one's... This, there it is. Where's my post? This is where I'm looking for my post. It's disappeared. Oh, man. They've gone and duped the blum thing. Oh, shucks, all my work. It disappeared. They ditched it. Okay, I'll fix you lot up. I'm going back and start again. A whole fucking morning is gone. In a whiff. It disappeared. See, there were three up here. Now oh, there's the other one there. That one, that one, and this one. Where is my site gone? I'll just keep going. I'll go and look for it. Where is it? They've gone and crossed right over it and made it disappear. They've gone and crossed over it. Oh, man. Oh, this Sarah. Heck, I can't recognize her. My friend, I can't recognize her. Put it on my page. Alright. Where's my post gone? Oh man, I'm just showing you. I can't find where my page is gone. It should have been in here. It's not even here. Oh, God. Bucks. Real bastards. Facebook, 